Alexa, curtains open. Open. We will need a stepper motor. So we are going to use make use of a NEMA 17 stepper motor. So just google that or search it anywhere and uh, depending upon the weight of your curtains choose a motor which provides a good torque. So next we will need some kind of a power supply. So we can make use of a 12 volt 2 ampere SMPS or if you want more current you can go with this kind of uh, SMPS supply. Now, the next thing that we need is a controller. So, how we are going to control our stepper motor, right? So, for that, we are going to make use of an ESP8266 Node MCO board. Or, instead of using this uh, board, you can alternatively choose uh, this chip, just the chip and we can use this kind of an adapter plate for this chip and it will uh, basically serve the purpose so once we have our controller microcontroller we need this stepper motor driver so we are going to you make use of a tmc2209 stepper motor uh, you can alternatively also use tmc2208 stepper motor or any other step motor of your choice uh, so we will also use this kind of a female DC power jack and we also need a voltage regulator 57805 voltage regulator so that we will feed in 12 volt at the input and output will be 5 volt constant so this 5 volt output will be used to drive our microcontroller so once we have all these components ready, finally we are going to assemble it on this kind of a PCB prototype board and let's have a look how it looks once we assemble all the components. This is the assembled board. So here we have our microcontroller that is the ESP266 chip and this is our TMC2209 stepper motor driver. Here you can see the DC jack where we will attach the 12 volt power supply and here you can see we have the 705 voltage regulator. Finally these four wires, this blue, red, black and green wires, these four wires are going out and connected right here to the JST connector which will be plugged to our stepper motor. The connections are made as per the stable. Connect D5 to step pin, D6 to direction, D7 to enable. Connect the 3.3 volt output to the VIO pin. It is an optional connection. And finally, we must connect the common grounds. Okay, so now that we are done with the connections, let's upload the code. So here, uh, this 42, it represents the number of turns that the stepper motor will rotate uh, so based on your requirement just change this number and click on upload okay so this is the design that we are going to use to mount our stepper motor on the wall this is a beaded gear we are going to attach our beaded string to this gear and this gear will be mounted to our stepper motor with the beaded gear design that we just saw we can make use of uh, this kind of a coupling shaft or this kind of a coupling hub we can simply attach uh, the 3d printed gear on these uh, parts and uh, th uh, then we can easily attach it we can easily mount it on our stepper motor you can make use of either of these two designs Okay, uh, so we have two other designs. Feel free to use uh, any of the gears that you want to use with your stepper motor. That was one and this is 
another design. This is the assembled product using a coupling shaft as you can see. This is the complete assembly using a coupling hub. Let's have a look at the mechanism. Alexa, curtains to on. Okay. Alexa, curtains close. Okay.